adding data to the database with the insert command, the insert DML or data manipulation command. The insert command is used to add data to the database. There are two distinct forms of the insert command. The first involves an insert command which adds data to a single table. Here's a simple example. I'm inserting into the category table a category ID and a name. The syntax shows that I need to specify values. Here I'm doing the next value on the category ID sequence and I'm giving the category name of racing. The second form of insert command is a specialized insert command which allows simultaneous insertion into multiple tables. There are restrictions on the syntax since this kind of insert command is rather complicated. Let's go back to the single table insert statement. Here is the syntax for the single table insert statement. We insert into a table using a column list with a set of values which is an expression list. The column list is optional assuming that the values expression list exactly matches the data types of all the columns in the table in the physical order in the table itself. The returning clause can be used in PLSQL anonymous or named procedure blocks in order to pass values calculated using the insert statement into variables either as a single variable list or arrays representing multiple rows. We can also use an insert statement where data is added to the database using a subquery. Now let's take a look at some single table insert examples. Here I have a very simple example, the one we saw before, namely this example where I insert a new category into the categories table. Let's paste this example into SQL Plus and execute it. Now we can go and select the categories and we'll find a new category at the end. What I did with my first insert statement was I actually inserted a new parent category. Now I'm going to insert some child categories into that parent category called racing. I'm going to do this by setting a new category number, giving a category name and allocating that category to the parent category using this subquery. So you can see we can use the subquery in a SQL statement values expression. I'm going to insert three child categories into the parent category racing. So I'm going to copy and paste these into SQL Plus and run them. Now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to set my column width so I can see what's going on. I'm going to set column name on the category table with a format of say 25 characters. Once again I'm going to select star from category. As I can see I now have the category 35 racing with three different types of racing in the parent category 35. Another thing I can do with the single table insert command is to insert into a table using a select statement directly from another table. So let's run this. I'm going to create a temporary table just for the purposes of demonstration. This temporary table happens to be identical in structure to that of the category table with category ID, name and parent ID. Now I'm going to insert all the category records into my temporary table. And as you can see, if I select everything from the temp table, I have everything that I have in my category table. Now in order to make sure that I don't keep data which is not useful, I'm going to drop that temporary table.